Hi folks, we're going to take a look at time remapping today. So I've got a clip here of a, a lovely whale doing some acrobatics in the water. Okay, and I want to do a little bit of slow-mo and play about with the time. So, um, well, there's an easy way to do time, and that is of course to hit R, or come over here for the rate stretch tool. So, hit the R key. And we can simply speed up a clip by dragging it in, or slow it down. Oops. Oop, grab the handles there. there we go by pulling it out okay let me just undo that but I want to do something a little more complex so I'm going to use time remapping so I'm going to right click on this tiny little FX bar here just this little button above the bar for the opacity above the opacity line okay and by default it's usually set to opacity I'm going to change that to time remapping speed Okay, and the line pops to the middle, the middle representing normal speed, 100%. So what I need to do is add a couple of points here with my pen tool where I want the clip to slow down. So I'm going to add one here as it majestically rises from the water and have a little bit of splash and then have it return to normal speed. So obviously it just keeps playing at normal speed here. So I'm just going to press uh, V to get back to my arrow key there. And drag this section of line, you see this here, between these two points down. Okay. And you get a little box underneath telling you what speed we're going to. So I'm going to drag mine to quarter speed, 25%. So now I've got a very whoa, slow clip. And what we could also have, it goes immediately here from 100% to 25% and back up to 100% here. So I'm going to use these handles and pull these apart, okay? So we get a speed ramp, so it, so it slows down and speeds up more gradually, okay? Now, the problem is, if I now just move forward, one, two, okay? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, because I've slowed it down to 25%, we've got repeated frames. So when you play back the action, Okay, it has this jerky motion. Okay, so um, what we, can we do to fix that? Well, Premiere now includes optical flow. Okay, so we go to time interpolation. We can choose optical flow. And that interpolates the frames that are repeated. So it creates in between frames. Okay, so now let me just render that. And it'll take a moment to render. And what it will do is it will analyze the shot. It will create in between frames so that each frame is now individual and we'll get a smooth playback. And I've also used this to fix issues with um, when I have to say work with 29.97 frames per second video in a 25 frames per second clip. You know, I can use that to sort of smooth out the motion. And it does work. I've, I've used that method a few times as a quick and easy fix. So let's just let this render. And while I'm doing that, I'll just explain that there's a couple of other things we can do with time remapping, such as pause and rewind. So let's let this do its thing. And then I will come back to you. Okay, so now we're rendered. When I hit forward, every frame now is individual so when I play back I get a wonderfully smooth look at that slow motion and then ramps back up to normal speed okay so that's great so next up I'm just going to show you a couple of extra things we can do I'm just going to hit F to bring up this clip and just drag a new version in here and so another thing we could do is we can rewind so say if I want when it splashes down it to come back out of the water I'm going to use my pen tool okay oops I just got to don't let me forget I got to put the time remap it on first and then use my pen tool add a point here I'm going to simply hold down the command key and grab that point and drag backwards and you can see you get this little rewind button there and as I pull backwards it's showing you on the top right above how far back it's going so I'm going to pull it back 
until the head goes back under the water and then he's going to jump out again so it's going to go up back and in and out okay so but i particularly like this frame so i'm also going to add a little plus sign here and this time I hold down command and alt and when i pull to the right oh yes i'm going to get a freeze frame boom and back we go and of course we've also got handles on these so we can we can change ramp the speed and of course um it's also worth maybe to making speed changes using optical flow again okay and so it's time remapping once you get used to how to use the handles and how to put the points on the line, it's really great, straightforward, optical flow is brilliant, so um, enjoy playing with time and space. I thank you.